Um, I'm just kind of curious what you can tell us about Brett Rippon, what you've seen of him, you know, since the start of training camp through the beginning of the season. Yeah, he's very consistent. Um, you know, watching him out there, giving our defense um, <clears throat> some some tough looks in, uh, on the scout team every week. Um, you know, he's a guy who's consistent. He, he battles his tail off and, uh, you know, uh, next minute mentality. So we're, uh, we're excited to, you know, get him going and, 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 you know, see what he can bring this team. That was something that, you know, the team kind of had to go through a few different times last year in terms of different quarterbacks. Like what are the, what is the process midweek of trying to adjust to someone new orchestrating the offense? Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, it's unfortunately as part of this, the, this game, um, you know, Matthew is one of the, one of the best to, to play this game. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate um, that he has this injury, but, um, you know, again, it's part of the game and it is a next man up mentality. So, uh, you know, Brett prepares himself every week um, as if he is going to be the starter. Um, I was actually talking to him about it a few weeks ago. Um, just, you know, how it can be somewhat mentally challenge, challenging, uh, knowing you're not necessarily the starter, but going in every week and and preparing as if you are. Um, and he's a guy that has done that. Um, and I think he will, again, you know, do that this week and, uh, you know, ready to go win a ball game. Thanks, Tyler. Yep, thank you. Stu. More to kind of what Adam was asking, going just specifically in game. What what was the challenge for you guys when you have a kind of a sudden change like that, going from Matthew to Brett? As much confidence as you guys obviously have in Brett. Yeah, I mean, it, it you know it can be challenging, but again, like like I mentioned, um, you know Brett goes in and, and prepares himself every week as if he is going to be the starter. Um, so when something does like that happen, we have all the confidence in him to come in and, you know, um, you know, pick up right where we left off with Matthew. Um, and, and we expect to go win games um, no matter who's out there under center. So I've um, got all the faith in him. And I think he's going to do a great job, you know, preparing himself this week and get ready to go, you know, try to get a win. And then for you, when we were talking to uh, Rod Havenstein a few weeks ago. He, he called you the un unsung hero of the uh, – the run blocking or I guess the, uh, you know, rushing offense. Mm -hmm. um, what's that like for you just as far as like, you know, or what do you enjoy, I guess, about the role you have in terms of the, the blocking and the things you're asked to do in that base specifically? Yeah. And I think the unsung here is a little, little much, but um, you know, I just, I, you know, I, I want to win football games um, and whatever the, the team asked me to do uh, in order to get that done. I try to do my job and do it to the best of my ability. And um, I'm always playing for the guy next to me and, uh, whether whether that's in the run game in the past game and I uh, just compete my tail off and you know I know those guys are playing for me so I try to do my best to play for them and uh, you know just go out there and try to do my job and I, I want to win games so whatever that may be whatever I'm asked to do that's 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 my goal thank you appreciate it thank you Gary Tyler can you hear me yes okay great um Hey, I came out, got on a little bit late here. I just, I know you were talking about um, Brett preparing play. So have you guys been informed definitively that Matthew is not going to play against Packers? Um, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Not okay. Sure. So um, if, if he, can you take us through what was happening in the game the other day? I mean, uh, on Sunday, did you know that he had, you know, banged his hand on the helmet on, on that, uh, first conversion pass? Honestly, I didn't. Um, I think uh, when I noticed something was going on, I think defense was out on the field. I turned around and saw Matthew kind of with our doctors um, on the sideline. Um, and I think somebody had mentioned to me that, you know, something was going on with his thumb. Um, I know that dude is one of the toughest, you know, competitors out there. Um, he's he's a true football player that, um, you know, doesn't get the credit for, for the amount of toughness that he has and brings every week and stuff that he's willing to gut through. Um, so, um, yeah, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate and, you know, something happened and again, it's part of this game. Um, you know, you hate to see it, but, um, you know, stuff happens sometimes. What, uh, if anything, you know, can you do, uh, when these guys have to step up, you've been through a couple of times now here, mm -hmm. backups have had to come in, um, other than them preparing themselves is there anything that you can do to kind of ease that uh you know jump from back up into you know facing the fire yeah i think you know just try, try to be myself try to be you know a great teammate you know um give them the confidence nothing's false about it um 
we try to give them some confidence and and uh, just let them know that you're there for them and you're going to make some plays for them to to you know try to make their job a little bit easier the best you can and um you know just again just try to give them the confidence that you have in them um because we do have confidence in, in all our guys, you know, starting or backups. Um, they prepare, we practice, um, we work hard, and um, I, th I think we'll be ready to go. And, uh, you know, excited to let him go out there and show his stuff if, he, if he's the guy that's going. Thanks very much. Thank you. Jordan? Hey, Tyler. I also jumped on a minute late. Sorry about that if you've been asked this already. But um, Brett talked yesterday – What's today? Yes. Brett talked yesterday about um, how he feels he needs to slow his feet down a little bit because he needs to match the timing of his drop with what you guys are doing on your routes. Mm -hmm. Wondering from your perspective um, in the past game, if you can expand on that, not obviously from his perspective, but just what it means and, and what it takes to get that specific timing down. Yeah, I mean, so, so some of that stuff will just come with reps. Um, I know he – I think he had mentioned to me earlier this morning that, you know, uh, he felt like he could have been a little bit better with some of his feet and some of the timing. I think, you know, some of the stuff that you just mentioned, um, you know, that's not necessarily something I'm looking at, you know, right off the rip. But, um, yeah, you know, I just um, – you know, so much in the past game can work with timing and rhythm um, and some of the things that we do. So, I think, you know, he's just probably, you know, mentioning that some of that stuff. And, um, you know, some of the stuff, again – time and rhythm is just me being on nowhere I fit in the read and, and trying to be in the right spot at the right time. And, you know, so that he can get through his reads and, and I'm at the spot that I'm supposed to be. So. And then thank you. And then in practice, um, we sort of see part of it, obviously, and the reps are, are divided up in a certain way. And so um, he's kind of learning you guys all over again from uh, limited reps in training camp with you guys. And then obviously running the twos and all of that, but he's kind of learning you and Cooper, especially Cooper and, and Puka mm -hmm. all over again. Um, is there anything, um, any detail about what that process is like where you have to expedite it, obviously. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, what little details are like the number, the most important thing to, to key in on during that time? Yeah, I think that, you know, and that goes back to our off-season training, you know, our OTA stuff, um, you know, where some of those, you know, in season, obviously, you know, you know, the starters, reps, guys that are playing with each other on Sundays um, are going to get some more reps than they would with some of the backups um, in those roles. But, um, you know, it starts in the off-season, getting to work a little bit more with those guys, you know, kind of not necessarily, you know, set in standard of who is sitting, of who's the starters and things like that. Um but again, it's just going back to work, you know, we're working and, you know, start it and routes on air and then we'll work to some team reps and then, you know, gradually progress with it. And uh, like you mentioned, it'll be a little bit expedited, but um, you know, he's one of the guys that I think, you know, is the right guy carries the, carries the right mindset and the other guys in the, in the offensive room also carry that same mindset and um, just do what we can to go win a football game. And then last for me, um, I know that you're very, uh, you, you self scout a lot. Um, and specifically in the past game, I'm kind of wondering through the first, you know, what is it? Seven, eight, I, I, I'm kind of wondering, um, what your overall assessment is. And, and, you know, as you, nobody's healthy at this time of year, but as you yourself have kind of worked through some things, what your assessment specifically in the past game of, of your play so far has been. Yeah. I, you know, I expect myself to win every matchup, win every rep. Um, you know, I think there's some plays that, um, you know, I haven't made that I think I can make, um, again, you know, dealing with some injuries, not making any excuses or anything, but, um, that's something I expect no matter what's going on with me. Um, I expect to make those plays and, um, go back to work and see how I can fix it and make those.